Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Root Beer here. We're on to our 16th question from our Grade 9 Pascal paper from 2016. An integer from 10 to 99 inclusive, so including these endpoints, is randomly chosen so that each such integer is equally likely to be chosen. This is uh, something a fancier mathematician might qual call an equiprobable sample space. Uh, the probability that, e uh, that at least one digit of the chosen integer is 6 is. Okay. So to figure out a probability like this, we need to figure out the number of things that we're interested in. So number of two-digit numbers, two-digit numbers that have a 6. doesn't have to, I mean, it could be two sixes. It could be 66 divided by just the number of two-digit numbers. That's uh, what we call our sample space. Those are the, the, all the things that could be picked, but we're interested in a certain set of them being picked. All right, well, how many numbers are there that could be picked? How many two-digit numbers are there? 99 minus 10, but since we're being inclusive, we have to add on 1. And so that'll be 89 plus 1. There are 90 numbers that can be picked. Another way to see that is, well, think about it, any two-digit number. You've got nine choices of numbered for the leading digit, could be anything from one through nine, and you've got ten choices for the second digit, anything from zero to nine, nine times ten, ninety. That's another way to see it. So the bottom number is going to be ninety, but how many two-digit numbers have a six in them? Well, we could um, list them all out. That's entirely possible. Okay, and that's one way to do it. But you'll notice it's you know it's taking a little bit of time here. And I've skipped over the 60s. That's because I'm going to do them together. And we could count them up from there. Uh, how many? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 of them. So you do 18 out of 90 that way. But suppose we don't want to waste time actually writing them out, especially because if we don't go in a nice set order, we might miss something. Well, instead, we could imagine what's a two-digit number that's got a six going to look like. Well, it could start with a six, in which case we've got ten possibilities here. So that's ten, ten of these start with a six, and yes, they do. Or we could end in a six. And how many, well, you've got sort of nine digits. You can't start with a zero. That's not a two-digit number. That's not between ten and ninety-nine. So it would be eighteen, or sorry, it would be ten plus nine, which would be nineteen, Except we've counted one number twice, and that's the number that has a 6 both at the start and the end. Since we've counted it twice, we need to take it away. So that's another way we could realize it's 18. But we're doing 18 out of 90, and we can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by uh, 9. Actually, top, top and bottom by 18. It's going to be 1 out of 5. So that's the probability. One fifth. One fifth of the time you pick a number in this range you're going to get a six. And so that's answer A. All right. So up next, join me for question number 17. I will see you there.